So karate champion and VHS star Steven Seagal may be running for governor of Arizona on an anti-immigration platform. Will, what party do you think he'll run as? I assume that his career as an actor is doing so poorly at this point that like Frankie Muniz, like uh, any number of washed up celebrities, he's now a Republican. Okay. I'm going to tell you right now that Under Siege is a masterpiece and that he saved the USS Missouri. Under Siege 2, Dark Territory, also a masterpiece. Since then, I don't know. I'm not seeing a lot of Steven Seagal. Have you ever seen his girlfriend doing coke in a bathroom in New Orleans? Oh no, we can't put that on there. <laughs> you could put that on there. But okay, so Jean-Claude Van Damme, he disappeared for a while because he's really annoying. And then he comes back super fit and yep. does this split. And everyone's talking about Jean-Claude Van Damme again. Now, isn't it true that if you're 200 pounds overweight and you can't do a split in between trucks... He might have to run for governor to come back. I mean, can we fault him for that? If he was actually in any shape at all, they would have brought him back for The Expendables, which was just a giant movie of Did retired action heroes. No, I don't think Steven Seagal was in any of those movies. That's you know what? That's why, that's why I skipped them. I was wondering. That specific thing, yeah. You know, Even Chuck Norris was don't, in those Don't films. pretend to be comprehensive when you're not. Right. You're missing someone. Speaking of missing... As, as the TV guy here, let me do the segue, okay? Speaking of missing... Has Barack Obama been missing in action in Iraq? Just this past weekend, Al-Qaeda-linked fighters have taken the town of Fallujah. Fallujah, of course, was taken by the Marines in 2004. We left the country, now it's Al-Qaeda again. It doesn't matter much whether or not it's Obama's fault. I think it will matter whether or not Hillary Clinton's foreign policy future uh, rests at all with Iraq. Mm -hmm. She was Secretary of State when they failed to secure a status of forces agreement. We had these news reports, like, is Hillary Clinton the best Secretary of State ever? And then she retired, and everyone's like, okay, well, let's, like, write down all the things she accomplished. It was nothing. We were in World War II for three and a half years. I we were able to beat the world's two greatest empires. I talked to a, a couple of veterans uh, over the weekend about it, and we're, one of the things we were watching a video was like an entire convoy of Iraqi vehicles that was just on fire. Like, they hadn't even gotten out of formation. They were lit up by al-Qaeda. And he said, honestly, I'm not surprised. I knew a couple of really good Iraqi soldiers, but most of these guys had no idea what they were doing. Let's also remember that a couple of years ago, when the Arab Spring was really blowing up, you had all of these ex-Bush people coming out and saying, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Iraq. This is when we all assumed that like, the Arab Spring was a good thing. So the Bush people rushed in and took credit for it. Mm -hmm. Now that the Arab Spring has unleashed, you know, essentially one giant war between Iran and the Mediterranean, going through Iran, Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, uh, Egypt is more dysfunctional than ever before. This Islamic fundamentalist movement in the Arab world that it seems larger than ever before, more influential across more territory than ever there's, before, I imagine that's going to come back to haunt us. There's no question that it does put the Obama administration at least in an awkward position, and here's why. Jay Carney, when they originally announced that they were going to draw our forces out of Iraq, said, if the Iraqi people ever ask for our help, we'll be there, but they haven't done that yet. At this point, though, with al-Qaeda taking over vast sections of areas that we had actually gotten, it wouldn't be surprising if the Iraqi government at least comes to us with a plea for help. And what will we do in the face of that plea? I think Drum the strikes. American people will never, ever support going back into Iraq ever I think you're again. Right. Now, do you know who is going to get in trouble, though? Evander Holyfield? Evander Holyfield was on Big Brother UK. He was It's kind of a weird scene. He's snuggling up with this cute girl who's asking him, like, isn't it sad, Evander, that there aren't more openly gay boxers? And he just said, no. No, it's not, that's not normal. And she was just horrified. But he's trying to make a case there. He said in the, uh, in the interview that if you're born with a foot that's turned sideways, what do you do? You go to the doctor and get it fixed. So that's his rationale for that's why. That's the basic reason for, right? for why homosexuality is wrong. So, I think the show Big Brother is, is perfectly named because... We were watching the episode. Yes, he definitely. gets like dragged into this like weird like Griffin throne chair that's a lot bigger than him. He has to sit there while this voice judges him and says things like, "Big Brother does not approve the language that you said. Are you sorry to Big Brother? Big Brother cannot condone your." Do you hate. understand what you did wrong? He's, and he sits there. Says, he sits there like a beat dog and goes, "Yes." And he goes, "These are your views, but they are not Big Brother's views." He, he looks like, like crap. This is the it's, British Big Brother, right? They yes. Have like a like a British. He thing. has some like some British voice telling him that he's like never allowed no. to speak again. Fuck the Redcoats.